Hey all, uh, in this lecture we will look into HTML link parser. Okay, new concept. Okay, for that, uh, yeah, let's record a script before I teach that concept. Uh, let's start with HTTP test script recorder. Yeah, here let's go back to the port 7070 and that was the default one which I am using to, uh, throughout my lectures yeah here let's select workbench test script recorder and let's put each group in a new controller and suggest excludes done right so let's start the script and it says ok yeah now there is a site called book my show we'll navigate to that page yeah so you can see that we have navigated to this page right yeah so now uh, let me yeah let's stop the script I'll let you know what I mean to say okay done okay now if you observe this is let me remove this path let's assume that we are in a base page okay in dot book my show dot com so this is the page this is a IP server name we navigated right okay so what is this uh, not required let's delete the unnecessary things here yeah dot jpg not required so that's the bug from jmeter theme we already clearly mentioned saying exclude dot jpg but still we are getting in our output collect not required I guess oh lot of BMS which are not required at all to us so let's delete even these two so just for URL navigating just hitting in a browser we got so many requests which are not really relevant to perform uh, po uh, testing so yeah so what I'll do is HTTP request just a basic we navigated to this website that's all that's all I have right now okay uh, yeah so this is the first one okay I navigated to this page path is nothing this is the home page now HTML link parser in the sense I'll add it here for you okay HTML link parser one second we need to do it as a preprocessor yep so this is plain uh, you know component you need not do anything here so come down to your second option now so basically this will extract all the links from the previous response right now there are totally two requests for us first request will directly navigate to bookmyshow.com page home page now in our second request if you write html link parser as a preprocessor if you mention this as a preprocessor then what it does is it will go back and get the response from the previous request and parse all the links that means it will get all the links from the this page okay it will pull out all the links from this page right and now if you give here for second request where you have added HTML link parser as preprocessor go to the navigate to that request and give here dot stop okay that means from all the links it will pick randomly one link that means bookmyshow.com 
slash it will select one link it will enter some value here so path in the sense is nothing but whatever you enter here basically it will add it here slash the values whatever you present here will be concatenated and he will be hit in the browser okay now if you see here if it is Bangalore like this uh, when you run the script this will get concatenated and this page will get displayed okay so basically path field is that whatever parameters you pass here ultimately it will concatenate with the URL and a script will get execute right so right now I will give dot star I will not give any path okay for example I'll just okay let me go and uh, click any link okay I clicked on off or something okay no so now this is a path so bookmyshow.com is a home page and this is my path okay so whenever you use this request this URL will get concatenated and this page will get opened so right now if you use HTML the usage of HTML link parser here is so basically it will pull out all the links present from the previous response previous response in the cell bookmyshow.com itself from the home page it will pull out all the links and it will whenever you give like this dot star it will randomly execute one of the link from all the links so for example uh, right I'll just you will get the things just follow me you'll understand what I'm trying to explain here so so totally we have written two steps here first step is just navigating to the web page right and second request is the same page but any link so dot star if you give slash it will click on uh, any link from bookmyshow.com page so this concept any link will be clicked only if you use HTML link parser as a preprocessor to this request okay whenever you use this as a preprocessor it will automatically read the response of previous request and extract all the links from all the links it will randomly select one link it will execute here what is, okay, uh, let me show you practical now I'll also tell why you may just get a doubt why the uh, reason why it get used in general where practically it's the link parser is used in real time I'll let you know just be patient okay uh, let's give it HTML link parser and paste all the concepts here right okay so as usual add an assertion uh, sorry listener view results tree and now remove this random something random link let's see let's see in the output dot star we have given and we'll see output what actually what link it's navigating we what all we did is just put an HTML link parser and we are asking to get all the links from the previous response okay. let me run this it will ask to save and what HTML link parser okay yep now okay so the first one it clicked bookmyshow.com page okay now second link so what request it sent let's see yeah so it sent error pages 404 okay this is wrong page actually what we are looking for so let's see what happened here uh, response is took my show page cool it got all the response and in the random book okay, there's some mistake here okay it seems double slashes dot star okay let's run again let me delete this maybe okay. 
Yeah, you can see that. Now you observe for random link. Now it has selected cinemas, right? It has selected. Now we will check whether do we have this link or not. Uh, for that, let's go to. Yeah, it's, so you can see that this link is valid. See, so what we did not give any link or any parameter here to travel. Okay, whenever you provide a HTML link parser, it will automatically extract all the links from your previous request and randomly it picks one whenever you provide dot star. Okay, so I did not provide any path. Let's run it again and see what it does. So clear all the data and run it again. Okay, so this time it has picked bookmyshow.com slash support slash home. This is the another link in the previous response. It has extracted everything, right? So it's randomly picking something. Okay, this is how the link parser works. So, okay, now question in your all your minds. Where exactly it's getting used in real time? Okay, so basically whenever you open a home page and you have made so many links on it. Okay, now you are uh, uh, the scenario what you got is verify the links randomly put the load randomly on all the links or put the load randomly by clicking any of the links in a page so how many links you will select if there are thousand links if you want to put load randomly on it's like regression kind of so we cannot say regression in performance testing but still kind of a smoke you're performing on uh, putting a load on the links of the pages okay so how do you handle that so then html link parser is a solution for it so it's simply add it as a preprocessor and in the previous request navigate to the home page or any page where you are looking to extract automatically put an dot star as in regular expression then run every time uh, whenever you run it picks randomly some link okay we will see now what i'll do is i'll put it in while loop that means run keep on running uh one second i'll put this in a while loop and you will understand what i am doing now okay Add logic controller oh, while 